Now that we have our uh, normal map created, we can also convert this normal map to uh, different maps. So you just have to go to convert and a bunch of different uh, options are, is going to be available and as you can see here you are uh, changing normal map to any of these maps or you can change cavity or height map uh, so uh, now we have a normal map and I want to create an ambient occlusion out of this because these parts should uh, make some shadows uh, on the model so I just select normal and the map is not available so I untick this 16-bit uh, is ok and I just uh, click on active dock and it's going to uh, create a new file uh, with an ambient occlusion and you can also make some changes to the medium, fine and large shadows so now just uh, file save as and save it again as uh, TGA uh, let's save it as Battlestick AO and 16 bits it's going to be ok and now what I normally do I just close this down, I don't need it uh, I open both of my ambient occlusions which are ambient occlusion that I uh, that I just did and an ambient occlusion that I uh, created with uh, the X normal so this is the ambient occlusion of X normal and this is the ambient occlusion of uh, NDO2 so I just press V on the keyboard to go to here to move tool just click and drag and then hold shift to perfectly align it to uh, to this uh, file and I just change this to multiply and maybe decrease some of the opacity and now I have both ambient occlusions uh, in one file so I just uh, save it for web or normal save and just uh, name it something like uh, Battlestick AO final so you know you have uh, all the ambient occlusions in one file